Frieza Saga, it started out pretty normal, except Goku and Krillin go to Namek instead of Gohan, because Gohan's dead. So they go to Namek, and Goku destroys the Doria with his Super Saiyan form. Queen Zarbon are dealt with by Vegeta. And then the Ginyu Force come. Oh, really powerful. Goldo, just in case you guys didn't know, is a serial killer. And he kills Krillin with relative ease. And then Goku goes Super Saiyan 2. And he kills him. Because Goldo is just so powerful. Crap, crap, crap. I ran myself into a corner. There's no way Vegeta would help. Tien! Tien! He exists. He comes and kills Goldo. Meanwhile, Vegeta, he screamed. So loud, they went Super Saiyan. So Vegeta, with the power of Super Saiyan, easily destroyed in this order: Raccoon, Jace, Ginyu, and Burger. Like it wasn't even close. And then he fought Frieza, who went straight to his final form, but lost to Vegeta. Now in Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I know what you're thinking. How did he get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution? How does Yamcha beating the Cybermen make him do that? Just shut up. Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue Evolution because it gets clicks on the thumbnail. And I have to put it in the story. Uh, or else people will call me a clickbaiter and stuff. So, look, my job is really hard, okay? It's just... Just, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you understand. I'm sure you understand. Anyway, and then Cooler comes. And Cooler's like, man, this guy's epic. But Cooler kills Vegeta. 